Hey guys, welcome back, it's Matt here, and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at my personal favorite top five applications for Mac OS, and I'm using Mac OS Big Sur, but really these applications just make my life simpler, and honestly, I kinda of wish it was just baked in to start with and I didn't have to install these, um, but you do have to install them, so I'm gonna tell you which ones you need to install. Okay, so the first app on the list is called Magnet. This is a really nice application that brings over some functionality from Windows, and it's a bit copycat, but it's super useful, and I'm really surprised that Mac doesn't have this at this point. It basically is a window snapping tool, and it allows you to go ahead and drag your window to the left side of the screen, and then it will go ahead and lock the window so it's half of the screen. And you can also go ahead and do the same for the right screen. So if you have multiple windows open and you're dragging them around, you can easily snap them into position and it just makes the workflow a lot easier. Now you may say that you can do split screen in full screen, but I don't really like full screening applications. I like to just go ahead and make them larger. And there's really no other way of doing that apart from clicking on the corner and dragging it out to the size you want. But you can make your own presets, and if you don't want to go ahead and drag the application into a certain position on your screen, you can even make a key shortcut, so you can just go ahead and do a certain key press, and it will go ahead and do it for you. This price is in at $2.99 on the App Store, but I personally think it's worth it. It really does bring a lot of functionality, and just overall makes life a lot easier. The next one on the list is called App Cleaner. Now, this is a really nice one. I upgraded to this from an older app called App Zapper. And basically App Cleaner goes ahead and takes your application and it groups together all of the junk files and all the cache files, pretty much everything that application made on your system, it will group all those files together and allow you to bulk delete them. And it's pretty straightforward to use, you just drag in your application or there's a way of scrolling through a list and just manually selecting your application. This is really handy because macOS doesn't natively have an uninstaller built in unless you actually download the app from the App Store. But yeah, I use this application all the time. It comes in handy and really like, I don't see why there's no uninstaller built in. I mean, just why? Like why is there no uninstaller? Who knows? But if you download this, it's free and it basically gives you that missing feature. Coming up at number three is the Unarchiver. This is a great application which brings many more formats to your Mac OS. So if people are sending you applications from Windows or just an Android device, or really any older format which isn't supported anymore in Mac OS, then the Unarchiver will allow you to go ahead and uncompress the files as well as compress them and send them back. So this is really nice and it just brings a lot more formats available to you. And it is free, so you should go and download it. In terms of actually using it, it's the same as when you go ahead and uncompress a regular file or folder. You just go ahead and double click it. The Unarchiver will actually take over if Mac OS can't physically uncompress it. And yeah, it's as simple as that. It works pretty much flawless. Up at number four is Amphetamine. And this is a nice application if you use an external monitor. So I like to plug my Mac into my monitor, but whenever I close it, it goes ahead and kills all of the power. And I can't actually go ahead and use it then without actually connecting a power adapter. This gets around that it allows you to use a monitor with your laptop lid closed without actually having it plugged in, which is super nice and handy. Something great about it is you can set up triggers so when you close your laptop and you're not using that external monitor, it won't actually go ahead and trigger it. You can actually set it up so if you have, say, a keyboard or a mouse plugged in, it will go ahead and leave the power on when the lid shut, but if you don't have those devices plugged in, it will go ahead and turn off. The same goes for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. You can set up many triggers and this just makes life a lot simpler and obviously preserves your battery life. And the last application on the list is called AirDroid. Now, obviously Mac OS has AirDrop built in and so you can easily transfer files between iOS devices and Mac. But when you wanna go ahead and transfer from an Android device to a Mac, it gets a little bit more tricky. And so that's where AirDroid comes in. It easily allows you to go ahead and send video files, music, photos, pretty much whenever you want. You can go ahead and send that directly to your Mac through AirDroid. Now it also works on PC as well, and you can even go ahead and send files from PC to Mac and vice versa. And you can pretty much go ahead and send it to any device you imagine. This application is available on pretty much every operating system. Now it doesn't create a direct connection, it actually uploads it and then downloads it again on your device, so it might be a little bit slower, but the actual amount of hassle it saves really outweighs the cons, and I can say this thing is a lifesaver. But anyway guys, that's it. That's my favorite Mac OS applications that I use on a daily basis. So I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. 